We're coming to you with breaking medical news. Could a diabetes drug be a game changer for weight loss? A new clinical trial is giving millions of Americans struggling with obesity hope. And it couldn't come at a better time because obesity is a significant risk factor for severe illness from COVID-19. So today, we're going straight to the source. Dr. Robert Kushner, an obesity researcher at Northwestern University, a good friend of mine. He actually ran this groundbreaking clinical trial. Dr. Kushner, thanks again for joining us. I thought I would just quote you because there, there was a great article in the New York Times uh, that, uh, that where, where they sort of tried to understand what this was about. You told them uh, that semaglutide is a game changer. And you're a very conservative guy. So after studying weight loss therapies for years, what makes you so excited about this study? Yeah, first of all, thanks for having me on. You know, I don't use the word game changer very often. In fact, it's the first time I've used it in my 40 years of practice. This medication is one and a half to two times more effective than any of the currently available medications on the market. Uh, Patients on average, after 68 weeks, lost 15% of their body weight, and that turned out to be 34 pounds uh, from starting weight. And more exciting, Dr. Oz, is that, is that a third of the individuals in the study lost 20% of the body weight, which was about 46 pounds, which is really an amazing amount of weight loss. Just to put this in context, you know, 33 pounds, right? That which was the average over the 17 months of the trial. Oh, you see the cinder block, everybody, right? If you haven't done construction recently, I can tell you this is pretty heavy, right? 33 pounds, imagine losing this from around oh, your waist. That is the amount of impact of a, a, of a medication, which again, I gotta say, I was stunned by as well. I never anticipated those kinds of benefits. So semaglutide is a diabetes drug. It's already on the market, but people can't just go out and start taking the medicine to lose weight today. Explain why, why I put the cinder block down. <laughs> so this drug is currently available in the market for, as a diabetes drug, and, and it's a, 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 a it mimics GLP-1, which is a gut hormone. Now we've known about gut hormones for quite some time. Most of them increase your insulin response to sugar, and that's why they're, they've been used quite a bit for diabetes. But at higher doses, they also affect one's sense of hunger or fullness. So when you eat a meal and you, and you feel full, don't want to eat anymore, part of that is a release of gut hormones. GLP-1 is one of them. And not only does it slow your stomach from emptying, so it gives a sense of fullness, but even more importantly, it, it has receptors in the brain, which is the appetite centers in the brain, which, which has to do with hunger and fullness and thoughts of food and so on. So when the same drug, which is used for diabetes, is used at higher levels, the weight losing effect, the appetite controlling effect really kicks in. And that's why this drug is much more effective than a drug currently on the market, which is for diabetes. Now, of course, there are no magic bullets when it comes to weight loss. And these trials and the participants in them made lifestyle modifications that were important. So here's how researchers think semaglutide works inside the body. It has to do with these special receptors found in many organs. Now, before you go to them, here's the stomach, the liver, these, the intestines. All these organs have to respond when you eat. So normally, there are receptors on these that are activated after a meal, right? And every one of these has a role. And that increases the amount of insulin you make, which, as you know, is important to digestion. Now. These same receptors that are normally activated with food, they can be activated by this new drug, semaglutide. And when this happens, let's go to the stomach, right? It actually takes the stomach and it slows gastric emptying, which means the food stays in the stomach longer, the stomach distends, right? And guess what happens when your stomach is full, right? You feel full because that's what it's all about when you eat food. That's why you feel full. Now, these same receptors are also found in the brain and they're activated there by semaglutide as well. And they release this hormone Uh, that it causes you to have a decrease in appetite. It's called GLP-1. The result, you feel less hungry, right? So you eat less food, which could lead to weight loss. That's the goal for so many folks. Now, Dr. Kushner, you followed participants for 68 weeks, which is a relatively long time for a weight loss study. But as far as we know, weight loss can sometimes be fleeting. So are there plans to follow up with patients to see if they kept the weight off a year later? Yes, there's actually an extension trial that's going on from a a subset of these individuals that will be followed for another year. So we will know what happens when you go off the drug. There are other trials also, Dr. Oz, that are looking for long-term use of the medication. Plus, there's a five-year cardiovascular outcome trial called SELECT that is currently underway. Importantly, looking at if you stay on this drug for five years, 
do you reduce your risk of heart disease, and including mortality? So that's going to be a very, very interesting study that will be published uh, later on in the future when the study's done. Let's talk about side effects because that percentage of people with side effects is quite high. Mostly gastrointestinal things like nausea and diarrhea. I mean, that could cause weight loss as well. How bad were these side effects? Well, the side effects were transient, uh, described as mild to moderate, and then they went away. On average, the side effects occurred during the dose escalation. So this kind of drug, you need to dose up slowly. And it's during that dose escalation when side effects occurred, usually three to eight days is what people reported, and then it went away. Oh, so it was fairly limited then. And well, how many people had the kinds of side effects that forced them to come off the medication? Uh, the side effects, uh, about 7%. Uh, of the individuals taking the drug actually had to come off of the drugs. That seven out of 100 had a difficulty in staying on the drug. So it's a, that's an acceptable number. That's pretty low. All right, when we come back, we're going to sit down with someone who tried semaglutide for weight loss as part of this trial that's making some just big headlines. And she actually ended up losing over 40 pounds. But I want you to hear from her directly. That's up next. Today, an Oz alert you don't want to miss. A diabetes drug is making headlines as a potential therapy for weight loss. It is called semaglutide. And while it's not available now, it could be as soon as June. Dr. Robert Kushner, who ran this great trial, is back with us. We're also joined by someone who participated in his study and lost 40 pounds. Kiana is joining us now. Thanks for being here. I am so glad that you have taken such a big step to better health. Uh, and I'd love to hear more about your story, Kiana. So if you can, walk us through your weight loss history before you started taking this drug. You know, how successful were you before? And what other weight loss strategies seemed to work? Which ones failed? I struggled with my weight for most of my adult life, Dr. Oz. Um, my highest weight was about 270. And my lowest weight was maybe 200 over my adult life. So I've tried it all. Um, I've tried online programs, I've tried medications, and just none of it worked for my lifestyle. I am working full time, I'm a single mother, so I'm always putting my family first and myself last. Yeah. Um, I've struggled um, with most of my weight loss journey. Um, majority of the medications that I took, I had a lot of side effects. It was really hard for me to keep up with it. A lot of dehydration, constipation, sometimes uh, diarrhea. So I was really excited when I had the opportunity to participate in, in such a trial. All right, so again, it's a trial. You didn't actually know if you're getting semaglutide or a placebo, right? Or sh you know, something with nothing in it. So when you started dropping the weight, did you suspect that you actually got the real medication? Well, initially, no. I was losing maybe one or two pounds very slowly as the medication increased. And then once I got like to the maximum doses, the weight just started to kind of fall off. And at first I was like, oh, it's me, you know, I'm exercising, I'm dieting. But the truth was, is that I wasn't giving it 100 percent. You know, life was taking over and I was like, no, it's not me. It has to be the meds. Did, did you did you feel that you weren't hungry at times that historically you would have been hungry? Yes, I did. And it was really challenging because uh, I spent a lot of time with family and friends. So we spent a lot of time around the dinner table and, you know, going out to eat. And so I noticed that at those moments, I wasn't hungry at all or I got full really fast. Now, we should note that everybody, I mean, everybody in the trial also made lifestyle changes like improving their diet and their exercise. But I know it's an imperfect world. Dr. Kushner, what if someone were to take the medication without any of the lifestyle modifications that Kiana was trying to make in her life? Would the weight loss still happen? You know, Kiana makes some wonderful points on how the biology changes one's appetite. In her case, she was able to make better choices eating healthier and other things healthy, like being more physically active, not, not avoiding excessive alcohol and so on. So the medication helps someone uh, with appetite control, but you still need to follow a healthy diet. And, and, and Dr. Raj, you know me, I'm a lifestyle medicine guy. Right. So the whole idea of an individualized lifestyle program regarding your habits is so important and needs to be done with the medication to be successful. Kenna, I'm so proud for you. I'm so happy. Uh, thanks for sharing your story. Dr. Kushner, I want to thank you for being here today, for being a leader in this field for many years, and I want to celebrate you for this 
wonderful trial that's, uh, that's captivated everybody in American medicine. I want everyone to check out Dr. Kushner's book, by the way. It's very well done, Six Factors to Fit. It goes into the, some of the details of lifestyle changes that make sense. We're going to keep following the research on this and bring you updates as they become available. I'm sure there'll be quite a few.